Good morning, everyone, and this is AIG Sports Talk with Mitchell Brown and Nick Vaughn. We have a very special guest on the show today, our very first guest, actually, Mr. Ben Coates. How are you doing today, Mr. Coates? I'm doing great, and thanks for having me on the show, guys. I'm uh, doing thank absolutely you for great. On. So, no uh, problem. You know, we've, we've researched your work and what you've been doing in the community, and we've definitely found a lot of positivity brewing and what you're doing. Can you just talk a little bit about it and, you know, what your vision and mission is and what you're trying to accomplish? Uh, one thing, you know, we do is we try to help the underprivileged kids. With my um, foundation, I do have, you know, where kids is unfortunate. Uh, we raise money, clothes, uh, try to get them school clothes, try to help them out while they're in college. You know, give the kids, you know, something to do try to go by some kind of goal, you know, you still can go to college even though if you don't have, you know, one of your parents or something of that nature. Now, uh, Ben, what does it mean to you to give back to the community? Just, is there any, you know, is it probably the most, is the most uh, rewarding part of it, just seeing, uh, you know, the positivity that comes out of it? Uh, you know, growing from, you know, growing up from in South Carolina with eight of us, and, you know, I saw my brothers and sisters actually want to go to college, but, you know, Unfortunately, we didn't have the money at the time. My parents didn't have the money at the time. And, you know, I chose to go into, on to college for, through a football scholarship. And, you know, my brother went into the service. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to give back to some of the kids kind of facing the same thing that we were facing coming up in the 80s. All right. Uh, now, when you first came into the NFL, uh, was this something you immediately wanted to do? Was one of the first things you thought, you know, how can I get back to the community? You know, I have this, you know, I have all this professional money I can put towards, you know, giving back. Was that, you know, something that you really thought of when you first uh, got to New England? Well, when I first got there, the first thing I wanted to make sure to take care of my uh, immediate family, my mother, my father, you know, my father had passed, my mother, and, you know, help out my brothers and sisters. That was the first thing, you know, to cross my mind and make sure my home, my mother had a home. Better than what we grew up in. It was first and foremost one of the things I wanted to do. And then, then the foundation and everything else came into place, trying to help other kids that was uh, in that situation that, you know, was trying to go to college, but it might have been short some money here, short some money there, didn't have the book money, or, you know, they just didn't have the resources to, to uh, get to college. <laughs> uh, now, uh, when you were growing up as a kid, uh, you know, I would imagine you grew up loving sports, uh, being an athlete yourself. Now, was it important to you for athletes that you admired that gave back to the community? Was that, you know, does that play a big influence on you wanting to give back? No, it, it didn't. It, the big influence played on me was my father. When you know, he's always he was always trying to help out other people. Uh, my mother always trying to help out other people. So you know, and, and basically, it's like you know, if you're helping someone else, you you always do something good for the community. So, you know, I looked at them. And then I also looked at some professional athletes back in the day where, you know, different people would come to the community and, and help out the community, help uh, clean the community up, uh, do things here and there for the community. So that was something big for me to do, you know, coming from a family of eight, family of eight. So, you know, just seeing that, you know, it kind of, kind of instilled in me and, you know, it's just still in me right now. New England Patriots Hall of Famer Ben Coates here on AIC Sports Talk Radio. Ben, could you just talk a little bit about, you know, your experience with the Hasbro Children's Hospital and, you know, also the other foundations you work uh, with throughout your career? Uh, with the Hasbro Hospital, you know, that was something dear to my heart because, you know, as you grow up, you see some kids, it's misfortune, uh, some people treat kids wrong. And that was one of them. They're still one of my passion. I still go up there and still uh, – Go by, go by the hospital. I actually donated a room to Hasbro Hospital, go by there, set in, and, you know, talk to the family, talk to some of the kids, you know, because all you need is somebody to sit there and talk to you. You can actually brighten the kids. They even know, you know, what they may have with their disease or whatever it may be. It's just, you know, spend a little time with somebody because you never know that same incident, you know, they didn't ask for it, but it just happened to them. I mean, you could be in that same situation with your kid, you know, fortunately, you know, none of my kids have been in that situation. But to being able to be there and just spend your time, your money, to help out someone else's kid, I mean, it's a big thing for me, and it's always been a big thing for me. That's that was part of what, Go ahead. And that was, part, that was part of me starting the scholarship for the kids back in Charlotte 
when I was doing that in New England, then I went back to Charlotte, uh, back to North Carolina, and started my own um, thing. What I was doing were coats for coats for coats, and I did a foundation where you know I helped out a lot of kids in which if their family had died from cancer, because I had my mother and two sisters die from cancer, so I was always trying to help somebody that you know dealing with that process because that's that's a hard process to deal with when you deal with different people in your family die of cancer and try to cope with that and you don't have the resources to to cope with it. I can definitely relate to you with cancer and and family. That's definitely something I've been having to deal with as well. So can you talk a little bit more about um, any special memories you've had with families that have had cancer or, you know, some families that have been able to overcome it and you've kept up with them throughout the years? Yeah, it's just some of the kids that back in Charlotte, you know, I kept up with them. They actually got graduated from college, and they're moving on, and, you know, they'll call me every now and then and just tell me how they're doing, and I told them that, hey, I'm just here to help. I mean, I appreciate you calling, checking on me. You know, they, their gratitude is so grateful that they can call and still say, you know, thank you after all these years, you know, for just helping them get through college and get through with their life considering what the situation has happened with them. And, you know, me personally having to deal with it when I was playing, my mother passed from that, and I had two sisters passed and an aunt passed from it. So it's something dear to my heart with me. And, you know, I'm always looking to help all the kids. You know, the ones that have a drive for themselves and they want to become some of themselves, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm always there to try to drive and, and, and try to push them to become what they want to become. AIC Sports Talk here with New England Patriots Hall of Famer Ben Coates. Uh, Ben, uh, you mentioned uh, that you have children earlier. Uh, now, are you raising them? Do you hope to instill in them the value of giving back and the value of being involved in the community? Do you, uh, you know, try to hit home with that and uh, hope that they kind of appreciate that? Yeah, well, we do right now. But, you know, they, they're kind of young. Like one is in college and one's 17, 16. So, you know, they're kind of young right now, and they just see how things are being done and, and, and how I try to help out other people. So right now they they're seeing it, but they don't understand it sometimes. But um, that's one of the things that you learn in life as a kid, and, and then you see it more and more, and you understand well why is dad is doing this, why he's doing that. So it's a process of you know like when I was growing up, the same way that I saw that you know my parents did things. So it's kind of like a cycle that goes around and around. Right, Ben. Before we let you go, we've got to sneak one football question in there. What is your greatest memory from your career, college, pro, high school? Uh, my greatest moment in my career, I, w- I would have to say um, I got drafted by the Patriots, but, you know, that, that that's just being drafted. But, you know, one other thing, it, it's, it's, so many, it's so many of them, you know, coming from a small school like Livingstone and having the opportunity to go to Super Bowl and, you know, Two Super Bowl and win one and lose one, you know, the greatest moment of all is just have the chance to win that Super Bowl. Great. Great. Ben, we thank you so much for your time and hard work that you put back into the community. We greatly appreciate you. Uh, no problem. I just want to give a shout out to St. Augustine University Falcons. That's where I'm at now in Raleigh, North Carolina. All right. Well, you take care and we definitely hope to hear from you soon. All right. Got to give me a call anytime, you know. As the players are coming on the show, I'll talk with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Talk to you soon. Uh-huh. Bye. 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 Bye.